Yeah, we had new, uh, innovations in the format this year. In, we had the breakfast with the professor that was quite popular. The idea was to have a very informal discussion, to hear what the audience wants to know more closely, make them feel comfortable. And I think, although it was very early on a Sunday morning, there was a good attendance and there was good discussion. My table was very entertaining. I learned from them, from their difficulties in their countries. It, it's good to know. So I think it's something that we should keep on doing for next year. And I don't know if it should be a formal presentation. I like the idea of having it loose and let people uh, think what they need to know more informally. We also had the innovation with the debate in the opening night, which also was um, commented all the time. I think for the first night, it's good to have a hot topic and a debate like that. And people were very passionate about it. And I think I cannot really say somebody won the debate. I think everybody won because everybody learned so both sides were positive. Well, the workshop that I participated was very interactive. We heard many opinions from the audience. It was good to hear the young people coming up with their questions and bringing their cases, their doubts. So I think the format of the workshop allowing uh, not giving too much information, but having the, the exchange of ideas is, is the way to do it. Yeah, we decided we actually increased another workshop. We had four, now we had, this year we had five. And the, the, before we didn't have so much time for discussion, so we we're letting the audience uh, more comfortable in asking questions. So I think we should keep this timing. I think differently from the past meetings this year, uh, we didn't have so much basic science, which is a bad and a good thing because some of the basic talks are for just a few but we need it so we need to find the right balance between basic and clinical this meeting for clinicians that people that practice it was much more something that they can apply tomorrow to their patients like i just heard from the colleague from albania and but we need to find this right balance because we need to increase the knowledge of basic science too so it's a challenge for the next meeting that Zaire, Ricard and Richard Fury okay, are we'll going come, we'll come to, to, to um, host. We need new, new treatments, we need to approach the patient in a complete holistic way and we learn from the basic sciences, that's what I was saying. So we need to know how these targets are going to be approached and how fast they're going to come up to phase three and we'll have some results. But we still have to think of basic uh, elementary things of the daily practicing of medicine, like Richard finished his lecture saying it's still art. And we still have to talk about compliance, about the teenagers, about pregnancy. So it's hard to pick up one point that's like, this is the main important subject in lupus because everything is so important. And we learned so much in the past 10 years. We hope we had more therapies nowadays that we have now because 10 years ago it looked like there was a boom and most of them did not made make uh, to the end to, to approval, but we still have hope and we are learning as we do it. So this is a great team that we have. The, it's for me as a 
rheumatologist. It's a great pleasure to be involved with this program. I've been involved with lupus as passionate about lupus since I was a medical student, so it's like 30 years. And to have, to be part of this steering committee with people that are so important that had contributed to the literature that really changed the, the history of lupus and, and in medicine. It's a great honor for me and I learn every day and we are lucky to have uh, people like Eugene, Nicole and Julian and their team working with us because you give us a real support and make everything run smoothly and we have very little problems, right? We get along well and we're learning from each other too.